More on that storm in just a moment. But first, we're following multiple breaking news stories closer to home. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Donaldson. And I'm Chelsea Helms. We start with two men who are in custody after a multi-county police chase. CBS 4's Jenny Dreisler was on scene where it all ended. Police are still here on scene tonight in what was a chaotic scene that turned out to involve five different police agencies, as you can see behind me, still very active. Plainfield Police Deputy Chief Joe Aldridge says that this all started around 7 p.m. tonight in Indianapolis. Police were conducting an investigation on a man they say was a wanted felon. That man was driving a stolen U-Haul with someone in the passenger seat and had just hit two cars. Well, that's when police started a pursuit and the driver sped off. Police chased the two suspects from Marion County into Hendricks County and then back into Marion County on I-70 East. The pursuit ended on the highway when the two men jumped out of the stolen U-Haul and ran away. Officers quickly caught up to one of the suspects. That's when police say the second man ran into a nearby business, Cross Point Power and Refrigeration, and stole a box truck. Police say he ran into a garage door and rammed a gate and then intentionally drove toward officers. Now, at some point, police say shots were fired by at least one suspect and one Plainfield police officer. That second man was eventually taken into custody and taken to Eskenazi with a dog bite and gunshot wound to the lower leg. We see this violent crime. Uh, in and around Indianapolis and, and, and the surrounding counties every day. The criminals are, are getting really brazen and, and our officers are doing their very, very best um, with this situation and circumstances at hand. No officers were injured. The Plainfield police officer is now on administrative leave, which is standard protocol. Now, both men are in the Marion County Sheriff's custody. State police are leading this investigation. It's still unclear how old either two of these men are or why they were originally wanted by police. We'll continue to stay up to date on this story, both on air and online on the Southwest side. Jenny Dreisler, back to you in studio. Thanks, Jenny.